What's going on guys? P. Will back here for another video. So uh, I am going to do a day in the life today. Not a whole lot going on. It's 8.48 in the morning, 08.48. And uh, I've got to, uh, like I said, go on this detail. I'm going to take you along. Go around and uh, check some hand washing stations. I got some paperwork I got to do. And then I'm going to show you how I am working from home. Yeah, I just, I literally just woke up and put my uniform on. About to make my bed. Yeah. I'm still tired. See, I told you I'd make my bed in three, two, one. All right, so I'm running a little bit behind, but that's okay. It's very low threat detail I want. I rush, I make my coffee and my Keurig, and then it makes it so hot I have to put it in the freezer. I, I just made it probably 10 minutes ago. Even after 10 minutes in the freezer, it's so hot. But yeah, I'm gonna throw this down, and then uh, when I get to the detail, I will tell you what I'm doing. But uh, it's very low threat. It's an easy thing to do, but it's something you can expect to do in the army, no matter your MOS. weather has been really nice lately i enjoyed it it's already it's only like nine o'clock and it's already 57 degrees so it's it's warming up spring has uh spring is springing but in the car lately i've been uh, listening to a lot of audiobooks uh like i said i said last year my goal for the year was to read an audiobook a month and i completed that goal in 2019 and i'm still doing it in 2020 right now i'm reading i used to be a miserable Two or three months out of last year, or, or at, at the first two months of this year, I reread a lot of books. But, you know, driving in my car is when I get a lot of my reading done. So I, I feel like driving is a big waste of time, especially if you just listen to music. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I'll bump some some Kodak or some Juice World when I'm driving. But at the same time, it's a waste of time. And I feel like, you know, I can invest in myself during this time by reading books. So I definitely recommend, uh, you know, on, on longer commutes to uh, read audiobooks. Listen to audiobooks. I'm still asleep. All right, so I'm at the airfield shop at on Fort Riley. If you're on Fort Riley, you know exactly where I'm talking about. So this detail, that every like high traffic area on post, there are these water hand washing stations and it's my job to go to each station and there's a person guarding each station and just ask them, make sure their, their station is operating, function. it's functional, has soap, towels and everything that they need. Make sure, and once they have everything they need. So today I've got three stations. I'm gonna check at nine and then 1400. And then on the weekends I have to check at nine, 1400 and 1700. So it's not bad. It actually helps keep some structure in my day with uh, us working from home and stuff. So let's go knock this out. I'm also gonna uh, grab a bang. All right, sorry I couldn't get any footage for that detail and also sorry for the wind, it's Kansas. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, there were officers out, I didn't want to appear on professional. I can't I can't film other people. So I just kind of put it in my pocket. I tried I tried to get some audio just to kind of show you what the detail is about. But I'm out here at the track. Uh, this is for anybody on Fort Riley, this is Long Fitness Center. This is where I work out during uh, lockdown, you know, quarantine during coronavirus. So there's some uh, baseball fields, I've got this track obviously. I'm gonna do some uh, repeats. We've got um, into these conics and pull-up bars made, a dip bar. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna work out, get to my PTN for the day. Uh, I've got four by 800 meter or four by uh, 400 meter repeats, and uh, I'm really not looking forward to it. I am going to put on some David Goggins and just hate myself for about 20 minutes. So it's gonna be not fun. All right, so I decided to change it up. Keep the workouts fresh. Sorry for the wind. Once again, it's Kansas. So I did one 400 meter repeat, like as fast as possible, one 200 meter repeat as fast as possible. Now I'm gonna do three 100 meter repeats as fast as possible. And there's no really to set my phone, except right here. So this is where I shall set it. Was the track? Yep. Here I go. So I'm walking away. You guys still hear me?
I think I popped a quad. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, sprint wise, I probably haven't read that hard since high school. Ooh. That sucks. And I'm in pretty good shape. That kicked my ass. Just gotta push yourself. Yeah, I just went back and watched that footage. Not as fast as I used to be. My form is trash. Used to be pretty fast, I'm not anymore. All this two mile running the army's got me doing has uh, degraded my, uh, my sprinting skills, so I'm disappointed. So I finally got back in the car. I drove back over to the barracks. That track is literally like a three minute drive from my, from my room over here at the barracks, but while I'm catching my breath, I had, I've had several viewers over the past couple of months. Sorry, you're going to have to deal with me breathing. Over the past couple of months, thought, told, asked me if I would give like a review of Fort Riley, give my thoughts, kind of do like I did the video of Fort Huachuca, um, you know, what to expect. And I will get to that video. I've got it planned out. It's just a matter of sitting down and filming it. But I'll give my quick thoughts on Fort Riley. So you got stationed at Fort Riley. Fort Riley is your first duty station or your PCSing. If you're PCSing, you obviously have a lot more experience in the army than I do. And you know how to better judge a duty station, especially for people, probably people that are married and stuff. But, you know, for anybody can take this knowledge and run with it. I've been here for two years now. Rapid thoughts. One, winters are very cold. And it's not just the temperature. Like if you look at the weather app on your phone and you get up for PT and you're like, all right, what's it like at Fort Riley this time of year? In like January, you'll look and it might only be like 20 degrees, 21 degrees, which is cold. But I've noticed the weather app on my phone, at least I haven't looked at it, does not factor in the wind chill. It can be 20 degrees and the wind will make it feel like five degrees outside. The wind at Fort Riley cuts right through you, which sucks in the winter time, but it's fantastic in the summertime because the summer at Fort Riley is like where I'm from in Alabama. It's hot, it's pretty humid, and that breeze makes it feel so good in the summertime. It's unbelievable. So I love and hate the wind, but mostly hate it because I can deal with the heat. I can't deal with the cold. What is there to do on Fort Riley? Um, there's a bowling alley. There's like a warrior zone that has, you know, Xboxes and stuff like that. There's like four to six gyms. There's Long, Craig's, Leonard's, Robinson's, Whitside. So five gyms. And I know I'm probably missing something, but I'm really trying to think there is a there's a there's two pools if you like to swim there's a lot of uh there's a frisbee frisbee disc golf course there's a lot of trails on Fort Riley there's a lot of hunting if you're a nature person you'll really like Fort Riley like getting out in nature going for hikes going hunting there's a lake you can go fishing or a pond you can go out one of the gates and there's a there is a lake it's Milford Lake you can go fishing there uh I think bird watching is a big thing in Kansas but if you're a city person, I personally enjoy big cities, but I'm also from the South. So Fort Riley is not bad for me. I enjoy the South. If you're from, like I have friends of mine that are from LA, New York City, and they hate it here because to them, yeah, there's nothing to do because they're used to the city life. And this is like rural South living because the nearest like major population center besides Manhattan, which is a college town, you know, and if you're my age, it's cool to go out in Manhattan and, you know, kind of get away from the army, go live that college life a little bit. Uh, not really, but get out with college age people. So there is Manhattan, but the biggest like big city near Fort Riley is Kansas City. And it's like a two hour drive, which isn't bad, but it's not exactly like I just got off work. Let me go to Kansas City, you know? Yeah. So those are my quick thoughts on Fort Riley. I don't know if I missed anything, obviously in the army, your life varies depending on the unit. Um, so I, I can't give you reviews on any of the units or anything. Not even gonna go there. That's all up, you know, where you get stationed. Each unit, each platoon basically is different in the army. You guys know that. So I can't give you, you know, what type of unit are you going to, that type of thing. But I will say um, from, like, from my opinion and opinion of like my superiors that have been in the army a while, Fort Riley doesn't ha have a like really high op tempo like you would see that like I've got a couple of former ranger regiment guys they say like that op tempo is crazy it's not that high I would say and then I've heard people say it's not super slow either I would say it's on par with like people say it's on par with like Fort uh, Gordon I think one of the forts in Georgia not Fort Benning but 
um, maybe not Fort Gordon, Fort, I don't know. We're kind of like a moderate to high intensity op tempo. Uh, I've been told, I don't have any prior knowledge to base it off of. My, I, I would say we go to the field, field, depending on your unit. The unit I'm in goes to the field two to five times a year, depending on the year including and excluding like it depends on exercises there's some exercises we don't go to the field some exercises we do so you're you can expect to go to the field not a whole lot but you're gonna go to the field so long-winded that's my thoughts on fort riley so you just got stationed here it's not you know terrible you just gotta you gotta go find stuff to do i'm happy because i have a gym and i have the xbox in my room i'm a happy person but that's fort riley all right so i cooked a post-run meal this is like uh eggs uh, ground turkey and just like peppers, mushrooms, stuff like that. Threw it together in a pot, cooked it, put some like Creole seasoning on there. I'm gonna eat this real quick, watch Tiger King. I freaking love Tiger King. I'm gonna watch some of that and uh, shower real quick and then go do checks part two. So I'm gonna go, uh, I've gotta go twice a day, nine and 14, like I said. All right, so I got blessed. I don't have to go do my afternoon checks. One of my fellow soldiers that's on it's gonna cover it so i am good on that end right now uh i was been, i've been sitting at my you can't even see it desk i've been sitting at my desk right there uh editing up this video on the weekends i kind of just study for the board and play xbox uh and then during the week so how i've been passing my time for the since this whole thing started like beginning of march i've been doing college courses essays stuff like that stuff of that nature next week we have to start doing classes online for the army like ATORS training and stuff like that so i'm going to be passing my time that way so that's going to be interesting. We'll see how that goes, but that's how I've been passing my time. That's kind of a day in the life uh, during, in the army during quarantine. Your experience may vary. I know if you're mission essential, you're working. That's just how it is. I'm not really mission essential right now, so I'm not working. Uh, I'm working, but from home, so I can kind of do PT on my own. PT on post in general is on your own. So kind of just do my own thing, get my work done, but you know, I can kind of do it at my own pace. So it's nice. That is the day in the life. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come on over to my social medias. They are down in the description box below. Leave your questions down there. In the comment section below, I get back to all of my comments and I will see you in the next video.